Oh, let's see, 1256 p.m. Monday, 4th of September, 2017. So, yeah, I've got this, this software, I updated it to the version 7. Yeah, so it's got some new features or something, I don't know. So, I'm going to do my, uh, oh, the, the, the weekly, uh, so this is from Sunday, 27 August to Saturday, 2nd uh, September. Uh, oh my god. Right, so this is, uh, I don't know if I want to go individually every day. Because you could take a look at it, like, uh, I, I just, my days are all pretty much the same. <laughs> See all these, 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 these uh, places where I haven't done, like, no, uh, sometimes I might have taken a nap. I started noting that that naps in here Friday. Um, so basically I pre do my morning routine, veggie stew. So I've done some female voice practicing, job search, or journaling, calendar planning, sleep. <sighs> I do my course. I just started the cleaning. On an, on on the thirty first, I went to the court and I did my job interview and I saw that movie American Made. Um, like a shower, <laughs> Wednesday and uh, Saturday. So that's sort of like an overview. I haven't done a lot of studying last week or any reading, like Bible reading. I haven't done much of that. Um, but I did go to my course. So, so what I did was uh, so I, I'm not I don't I don't want to go through every individual thing. It's like ugh. it's like what I did was I went to Excel, and I put all the stuff uh, into this thing and have this pie chart thing. So this is I won't say I won't say this is an exact like uh, because there are moments where you know those empty spaces where I don't do anything. So of the time I did record uh, morning routine was twelve percent. So twelve percent was morning routine. But I'm going to separate the morning routine into. Uh, breakfast and grooming. This is what I'm doing that for this week. Instead of just calling it morning routine, I'm calling it breakfast, which is like uh, an hour. And the grooming might be half an hour. So the morning routine for last week was 12% of the time, which is 8 and 20 minutes. The voice practice, female voice practice, was 2 and 20 minutes I did last uh, week. 3% of the recorded time. Cooking and uh, dinner, you know, eating the veggie stew, that took 1,240 minutes, 18% of the time. Cleaning was only 45 minutes. I only did 45 minutes of cleaning last week. Jesus, 45 minutes of cleaning last week, 1%. Uh, internet, YouTube, video editing, that's for my, you know, editing my video or filming this video like that. I don't, I don't include the ones when I am uh, doing the get ready with me. I don't include that. So that was 130 minutes, 2%. Study, I did 390 minutes. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Just study. Oh, let's check that. 309, oh, I included the course, that's why it's 390, I include the course, a study, that's 6%, six, six percent, 390 minutes. Job search was 45 minutes, I spent 45 minutes searching for a job, I should really up that, I should up that way much. <laughs> See, this is the last video to, to, to do this stuff, like, oh, that's embarrassing, 45 minutes, 1%. Um, Journal, I spent 100 minutes last week, so that's another 1%. And this big pie over here, 3,920 minutes, which is 55% of the time is for my sleeping. I spend most of the week sleeping. Second highest would be cooking the food <laughs> and eating the food. So those, I spend most of my time 
sleeping or eating, cooking food. And the morning routine is also comes in the next. <sighs> anyway, so so that's what I did. Uh, yeah, so for the next, no, no, so that's for the weekly. Now, if I go to the today, like for last yesterday, see, I split up the. Uh, Morning routine into breakfast and morning routine. I saw a movie for that entertainment <laughs> imitation of life. Um, yeah, so I have to do, put more effort into job search and studying. Um, I did some voice practice. Uh, I think this is an, this has gone down to. I started this at. Uh, I started at twelve fifty five. Or 12 specific. I'll finish it at 1 or 5. So that's like 10 minutes of filming. You know, filming this. Um, so, so that's what I'm doing. Uh, you know, so that was my uh, review of the um, last week's time management thing. I, I didn't feel like going through each individual day. It's like, uh, I just, so I just give a overview of the weekly thing. The graph thing is good, I think. The graph thing, the pie chart. What the hell? I've got another pimple here. Oh, Jesus. My mom's getting pimple. Anyway, yeah, I have to learn to... Well, I'm doing... You know, some Some weeks are going to be more productive. Some days are going to be more productive. You know, um, I thought last week was pretty productive. So... I want to get myself going again because uh, yesterday, as you can see, I had a pretty like day where I didn't do much. I just sort of crashed. Like I just I was just very tired and exhausted. So I just mainly, at least I kept you know uh, disciplined my diet. Another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to like stop drinking coffee because I, I think that'll help my you know anal fissure problem, which is like a chronic illness for me. Uh, well, it's recurring and. And also my mental health issues is a chronic illness. I saw some videos on chronic illness. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I have to learn to manage my illnesses when they come up. Uh, so, um, so that's it then. Uh, all right, so I'll just uh, see if I can do some more, maybe some cleaning or something later. <sighs> Okay, so it's 2.55 p.m. Uh, what day is it? Oh, Tuesday, 5th of September 2016. <clears throat> I'm, gonna, I'm cooking my veggies too now. I just want to show like how, like, if you look here, there's no, like the hair over here is not growing. There's no hair. If you look here, see how there's hair here? But if you look there, this part over here it's gone so that's good I've got a pimple oh my god my whole skin I need to this, 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 see on this side there's hair some hair follicles but this side look at it look at that so, so gradually see it's working it is working it's gonna take its time so yeah I'm a bit exhausted today, but I'm resting. <laughs> I'm resting because I'm exhausted. Exhausted. Oh man, acne issues or pimples, whatever. <sighs> I did do voice practice to lots of 20 minutes. I was trying to change my morning routine. It's kind of didn't work out, but I got my routine things done. Anyway, so I gotta finish cooking this ve cooking this veggie stew, and I gotta shave and get ready to go out to the course. To the course. Okay, so it's uh, four fifteen p.m. I um I what did I do? I, I 
finished cooking the veggie stew and I wash my steamer. I put my veggies to in a bowl, uh, put a plastic wrap around it, and um, I'm gonna get ready. I'm not using the, um, what do you call that thing? Because uh, I just washed it. Uh, what I to wash it. I need to get some makeup things. I wonder when my table will arrive. I'm looking forward to that because then I can have a space to do some writing with my hands. Not on the computer, but actually write with my hands. I want to get a bedside table and a lamp so I can put my books in it and read at night and you know, oh, this seems nice, I have something like that. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to make my room more cozy and like a nice environment for me to be in to surround myself with positive things that are going to uplift my mood, make me feel motivated to do my daily routines. It's also a work in progress. It is a work in progress. I didn't do any study or any job search today. I was just not feeling. I just got up. Uh, I got up at six thirty or seven. I don't know. I think seven. And I just wasn't really. I wasn't very unsettled mood. And um, as I was trying this new morning routine and. I didn't work out exactly because I wanted to prepare my veggies too in the morning and I didn't because I felt tired or lazy. I don't know, I just felt very unsettled. Like I did, I did, you know. I just didn't, so I just, I don't know, I just got very tired, exhausted. So, you know, I managed to do my voice practice, which is good. Um. I'm actually going to try doing that. I want to try doing my grooming and half of my voice practice in the morning and prepare my veggies too. And then I will do my, uh, I will eat my breakfast because then I'll have more energy to, for the rest of the day, I'll have a bit more energy once I eat my breakfast. I couldn't give up the coffee. I feel like it's very hard for me to give up right now. So I'm sticking to the one coffee a day for now. I'll see how it goes in about a couple of weeks if my anal fissure problem heals up or something. I've been drinking a lot of water. A lot of water. Mm. I prefer using the uh, beauty blender type thing. It's not exactly the beauty blender because that is a product which is trademarked by a company, I think. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
I can't wait for this hair to all be removed. Better get a bio oil. Oh, I would love to get it from the pharmacy. Along with a, uh, actually got it yesterday. Along with a new prescription of effects or XR 150. Which is a Disciplined with my diet, which is good. <sighs> oh, I'm so tired. Oh, man, not this disc is full thing again. Um, yep, so, so I'm wanting <laughs> this might get ready with me. I'm gonna go to my class and uh, hopefully. <laughs> Yeah, we got an assessment. Maybe I'll come early today because we have an assessment, so I don't know. Oh man. Oh, it's four twenty-three PM. Oh I just removed the um I removed a a file with like twenty gigabytes. Um Oh, I'm just wearing, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna pants. I'm gonna wash my hands. I'm going to wash my hands. of some kind. Oh, one way doesn't matter. I'm kind of sweating. This one. Come 
have this book called uh, Fascinating Womanhood. Uh, another YouTuber was talking about it's about how to be a traditional woman. <laughs> it's about, I don't know, <laughs> it's, uh, I think it was written in the 1970s. Um, it's called these uh, traditional feminine things and being a housewife and things like that. So I might read a bit of that. <laughs> that, that. Go fascinating womanhood. Or is it fascinating woman or something feminine? Fascinating womanhood. Or something. Oh. Oh. Darker, eh? Oh shit! Oh, bad lighting. Oh, well, when I get the table, I might start coming from that location. I might get a better lighting, better lighting, like right at my face, like light p pointing right at my face. Like, <sighs> so, um, yeah. Sign off. So it's 5.17 p.m. I am here at the uh, college. Uh, so I'm gonna go in, uh, gonna, gonna do an assessment. Assessment is about searching for public records. I want information about people. Or something like your or electoral roll and um, property title, I don't know. Public record information. Um, so that's the assessment, I think. <laughs> so, um, I couldn't away my. I, I don't know what. I, I found these, um, the battery for the weighing machine, but I just don't know where it is. It's like, where is it going? Where is it? Where is it? Mm, I put some lipstick on. Because I'm feeling self-conscious. Oh my god. Do I look feminine enough? <laughs> Am I gonna pass? Oh no. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, the, the lighting in my room, it was very bad, and it just, like, this way, I look a bit, you know, good now, looks all right. But it was, like, a bad lighting, and I just felt like, I felt self-conscious. Am I gonna pass? Pass as a woman? Pass as, be, am I gonna be red as female? Or, what is it? <laughs> Still insecure. Oh, yes. Um, all right, so I'm gonna head in. Uh, I think uh, hopefully I'll do an assessment and then I think we'll go home early today. So, so I think it's a 6 45 or something. So I finished the assessment. Didn't. Oh, I'm going very ugly back home. Yes! home and eat my food <laughs> and uh, get ready for tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah, I, uh, so it was alright. So I know I, I printed out my answers. I went to the printer. There were two papers. One was mine, one was another student's. I'm pretty sure I took my paper because I looked at it and I gave my paper along with the question paper to the teacher. And uh, <laughs> I hope I give the correct paper. <laughs> it's like in my mind, I'm like, did I give the correct? Because she had to staple them both. My question and my answer thing. <sighs> I hope I give the correct paper. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I did. Um, anyway, going home. Oh, it's 4 or 5 p.m. <clears throat> Wednesday, 6th of September 
so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna ready to uh, uh, oh yeah getting ready to go to the class but first I got some uh, stuff I ordered this is from Doreen Virtues loving loving words from Jesus um I might do like a like tomorrow tomorrow I might um go through these cards I just open them oh, they come in like that so oh what's that what's this supposed to be the book oh that. oh it's like something like holding the cards together oh they're very sh they're very shiny they're like gold should I just open them okay hmm well they're, they're like they're portraits of oh that's the back of the card the, the back of the card all of the cards look like that this is the front Oh, this is this one going to be introduction. And then you got all these different, oh, okay, look at this. all these different cards. How do I? Sh oh, this artist is Greg Olson. This is heal the sick that are there and and say unto them the kingdom of god is come nigh unto you hmm. all right so ask and it shall be given you matthew 7 7 so these are like quotes from the bible i thought like you know i might get some other things as well i just thought because eh, you know use these in her latest videos so there isn't really a book like where you it's more like um yeah it's more like a just a thing where like, you get quotes i thought like it'd be like a i thought it'd be like a tarot thing <laughs> so well you know so uh and i also got this which oh, this is holistic tarot by benabel when and I didn't realize this book was so big. It's like, look at this. Oh my god. It's like, holy shit, what the hell? Oh my god. So I wanted to, uh, wanted to learn a bit about this stuff. So I've got lots of stuff like <laughs> all these <laughs> things I buy. But how many I, how many do I actually end up doing? You know, but maybe I will try and get myself do things intentionally i've been seeing a lot of videos by this youtube called rains something and she talks about intentional purposeful living that's the key word is intention live with intention instead of just going you know, not having a direction or purpose rain san martin yeah the name to live with intention yes that's a, that's a, that's a very good phrase live with intention so i, I, I got another book it's about a uh, some saint uh, la, la morte uh, it's about saints of the death or something i had that book hasn't come yet oh my table is in transit so that's good um yeah, my table yeah, my, my, it. Well, that's, that's good. Um, I took a shower. I had a nap. Uh, I made my veggie stew. I did like 40 minutes of voice practice, 20 minutes each. Uh, in the first 20, I do the first 12 exercises. In the second 20, I do exercises 13 to 20. They are like there are like a whole bunch of it. Uh, so I'm I'm only doing the first 20 exercises. I used to do 21. There are a total of 59, oh, 50, 58 exercises or, or some things anyway. So I do. So what uh, I'm doing, you know, I'm working on the first 20. I'll gradually add more. 
Well, maybe I should put this uh, screen in a bit too. Yeah, let's put some light from the um, uh, computer screen. Yeah, get some light. I want to get some little lighting things. Uh, uh, I wanted to do some cleaning, but then I decided not to do it because I was feeling a bit tired. And maybe I, I think that was a good idea because you know, I've been so tired, so I, I you know, I didn't I'll do it tomorrow. Um, well, I watched this yesterday, so that's good. Skin looks good, feels uh, feels good because I, uh, you know, washed her. <laughs> I should do that every day before I go to sleep. Wash my face, I'm like, ooh, I'm good. We're good for the skin. I still, f I'm still not get. What's that thing where you scrub your, uh, skin, you know, skin to remove the dead skin cells? What do you call that? I just, just can't keep on forgetting it. Keep on forgetting it. Mm. I should do some job search tomorrow. Uh, yeah. I got up at eight today. Slept in a little. I would eventually get myself to a point where I can get up at uh, 6. I've added a new roof to, to, to my um, breakfast. Uh, now I eat on a plate. <laughs> I take my plate and what I do is I cut my banana in slices and I take the uh, kiwi fruit slices and um, then I um, toast my uh, two slices of whole grain bread and many toaster which is very very nice because this new toaster is very good because it, it, it burns everything evenly it's it's nice so I toast the bread and I put, put my then I spread both the bread with the sunflower what do you call margarine and raspberry jam and then I eat it so I forgot a plate with the banana and the um, kiwi fruit and the two slices of toast I eat it then I put the things back wash the plate and the knife uh, and then I eat my uh, make my soy latte I think I should put the nuts because I eat the nuts before I drink the soy latte so I think I should so I'm, I'm adding this is how I'm, I'm um, adding things to my morning routine eventually what I want to do is I want to actually make my veggie stew right in the morning before I like before I eat my breakfast but right now um, I'm not I don't feel like uh, the, I feel a bit like not, not motivated or just like it feels a bit too much at the moment so so I work on this this routine and then I will gradually try and shift the uh, veggie stew because I prepare my veggie stew after I have my soil light uh, latte and do the grooming, uh, you know, morning grooming. But so I'm, you know, I'm still doing the time management thing, trying to, you know, move things around and see what works. <sighs> So I haven't gotten any messages on those two dating sites. I even like logged into OkCupid and I was like, oh, this is, I updated my profile and it's like, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave them there. I'm not going to be like so desperate about it. Um, I'm going to be very uh, picky. Um, like I was just texting with this guy a couple of days ago and I just didn't like, I didn't, I didn't like that uh, interaction. Um, so I'm going to be very, um, picky and, um, you know, I'm going to, um, 
yeah, I'm going to, uh, you know, another, you know, so I do get, like, people will view my profile, but no, uh, I don't get any messages. It's like, eh, why is anyone sending me a message? People, look, if you want to talk to me, you have to send me a message. That's just how it goes. Yes. Hmm. Because they never know. Oh, okay. This person. Because someone is really interested in me, they would, uh, or, you know, send me a message. Um. Yeah, I'm also thinking of like getting more updated photographs that look a bit more professional. Mm -hmm. Yes, professional. Well, as professional as I can make it. Uh, mm. And better lighting. Lighting is very important. Yes. to play a musical instrument I was thinking of the flute because when I did my voice practice I realized that what you're trying to do is you're trying to train your vocal cords to basically air goes through the vocal cords and the vocal cords make the noise so I was thinking about hmm that was like a, kind of like a flute <laughs> so I was thinking of the flute uh, I want to learn a musical instrument or two, something fun to do. That would be nice. I want to learn a musical instrument. That'll be another project I could work on, like learning the flute or something, something like that. Yes. I need to get this part in line. This painting. Oh. Yay, so I'm showering two days a week now, which is an improvement. Yay. Yes. Today the anal fissure problem it was okay. Uh, it wasn't that bad today, so, but after I've kind of, uh, you know, every day is like, oh, I gotta eat well and drink plenty of water, and uh, and to manage this, and to manage it. So every day I have to be on my game, on top of things. If I slack off and not drink enough water or. Something like that. Who knows? It might be triggered again or something. Um. I need to. I need. Oh, I need to get. I need to get one of those uh, spirit things. You know those. Um, you know those alcohol things, so I can <laughs> finally take off these earrings and wash them. Oh my. God, I'm, I'm wearing this, this skirt. I haven't worn this skirt in such a long time. 
It's like what the hell? It's like um, you know this 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 skirt I like this long skirt I have. I was like, yeah. So I'm wearing that, and I'm just wearing my normal normal thing. Uh, you know. Tell me if it's a bit big, but no. I'm doing good with my diet. I, I want to add my exercises. Uh, I don't want to rush into everything. I don't want to rush everything and do it. You know, I'm going to do it. I'm doing good right now. So gradually, gradually I will add uh, other routines into my daily routines. Uh, next thing is to add... Uh, Exercises. Oh, exercises in there. Wait a minute. I should put the lipstick. I'll put that lipstick soon. So, uh, so far I'm doing it. So it's 4.22 p.m. It's 4.22 p.m. Oh, I will, I will leave soon. Yeah, look at his hair. It's like, why is it so like that? Oh, that's good. Um, <clears throat> Better see some videos on hair care and skin care and things like that. So, so I'll sign off now and uh, yeah, go to my uh, course thing. Uh, yeah, all right. Okay. Got that infection, I think, in his eyes. I don't know. So, I can to the doctor. I don't know when these people are gonna do that. Um, so this is what I'm wearing. Like, I'm still like with some stuff under my shoulders. I feel like my shoulders are really awfully like big. Like, like my top part is really like, you know, just a little bit hard on that. Like, really like, uh, you know, I mean, it's not, it's not like a huge difference, but it is a slight, it is a slight uh, focus on the uh, top, um, you know. So it's like, maybe if I can do some, like, it's not the hugest, like, huge, <laughs> it's not... It's slightly out of proportion. That's what I'm saying. It's slightly like the top, like it's this part where it slightly seems a bit bigger than this part over here, obviously. Um, that's sort of like, uh, sort of like one of my insecurities. I mean, insecurities. Um, but, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's like. It's just slightly, you know, I've seen cisgender women like that too, that, you know, not all women have big hips or anything, but it's just like, maybe I can do one of some of those um, exercises that can get your <laughs> hips a bit developed or something. I don't know, I don't know, anyway. Uh, so, yeah, that's all my insecurities, my, my shoulder. But from the side, it's not that bad. It's just like some sometimes, like when I look at like, maybe it's not that bad as I think it is. But um, yeah, just a bit insecure about like I want. I mean, like look, cisgender women. I have to be like, there are women look all kinds of shapes. You know, I have a pretty good figure. You know, <laughs> I, you know okay. You know, I'm trans and I, you know, it's, it's a, I, I'm kind of lucky that, you know, the hormones have been t able to work for me to give me these results, sort of, I hate saying it like that, it sounds so uh, crude, but, um, yeah, so, I have a good figure, it's just sometimes I, you know, I have my own insecurities about my shoulder, but I think overall, my look, well, my body looks good. So it looks good. Anyway. 
Oh my god, I haven't done the bloody thing properly. Shit. I haven't put enough on the top. I made 511. Uh... When is this problem gonna go? <laughs> Oh man, uh, I should check that in different lighting conditions. Oh, Jesus fucking. <sighs> mm. Mm. Because it, it's kind of odd. I'm just gonna push it. You know, this. this <sighs> anyway, so. Other than that, uh, maybe it's just lighting, I don't know. <laughs> I should check that though. Oh. She's gonna bug me now. <sighs> anyway, I'm here and um, oh, it's really starting to bug me. And um, Put the lipstick in the bio oil on my hands. You know, I have this antibacterial palm olive, or palm olive, and the, the it's antibacterial, right? And really hurts my skin because it'll go. Uh, so I have to take care of my skin. It's not that bad. I need a good lighting when I'm doing the makeup. Anyway, so this is me and I'm in the car. Stay up for a little bit and then go in and down. It's 8.27 p.m. I'm walking to the car. I'm going home. It's freezing. Oh. Get all this makeup off, and then I'm going to eat my veggies now. Savor it, because <laughs> this is the second meal. I only eat two meals now. I eat my banana and nuts in the morning, so after that I don't eat till like at nine. Normal days I eat my dinner at seven, but today it's at nine o'clock. Uh, okay, here we go. Okay, so it's uh, a few minutes before three p.m. Thursday. Uh, bad angle. <laughs> I'm just lying on my bed. Uh, let's have a nap. Um, it's, really, it's not that bad, but so I said I'll take a look at this, uh, the, the Jesus cards. So, this is the first card. <laughs> this is writing. Mm. Dear friends, I've always loved Jesus and have a close relationship with him. Yet, I recognize that some people don't connect with Jesus intellectually or emotionally. <sighs> I don't feel like reading this anyway. <laughs> so, uh, the, this card. All about Jesus. All things whatsoever you shall ask in, pr in prayer. Believing you shall receive Matthew twenty one twenty two. Oh, my table did arrive, so I just wanted to mention that. And this. Ask and it shall be given you. Matthew. Seven seven. Mm. Ask and you shall receive that your joy may be full. 
John 16, 24. I haven't done my voice practice today, but uh, it's feeling really a bit lazy. Be of good comfort. Your faith has made you whole. Matthew 9, 22. <sighs> Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Matthew 5 9. Blessed are they that hear the word of God and keep it. Luke 11 28. I love this phrase. I love this quote. Come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy, heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Matthew eleven twenty eight. Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Luke twelve thirty two. Hmm. What the hell? How many of you? Forgive, and you shall be forgiven. Luke six thirty seven. Hmm. There's something very really pure about that message. Give and it shall be given unto you. Luke 6 38. Yeah. He that believeth on, on me, the works that I do shall he do also. And greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. John fourteen twelve. I'm trying to. <clears throat> I'm trying not to speak with my grovelly voice. <sighs> okay, let me put this side over here. Right here. Um. Heal the sick that are here therein, and say unto them, The kingdom of God is come nigh unto you. Luke ten nine. You know, sometimes when we read this, it, it might be really meaningful when you're sick or you know when you're, when you're down. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. John ten eleven. I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Matthew twenty eight twenty. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. John fourteen eighteen. If you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove. Matthew seventeen twenty, the faith can move mountains or something. Faith can move mountains. Uh, I think I might have missed the card, like, because some of these cards get stuck. 
Judge not that you be not judged. Matthew 7, 1. Well, the artist's signature is there on the card. I wonder if the signature is on every card. Mm. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. Matthew 7, 7. Mm. Yeah, his signature is here. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. John fourteen twenty seven. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Matthew five sixteen. Hmm. Is this one or two? See, sometimes uh, I might have missed a card because they get stuck. Like this. Yeah, so I might have missed a. Love one another as I have loved you. John 13 34. Hmm. Wait a minute, why am I putting it like that? Um, my Father gives you the true bread from heaven. John 6.32 I like it though, they put the verses, it's like, <sighs> these verses are like gold. Um, Nothing shall be impossible unto you. Matthew seventeen twenty. Peace be unto you, as my Father hath sent me. John twenty twenty one. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. John fourteen twenty seven. Hmm. So it might be uh, nice to look at these pictures and, and contemplate on these phrases. Maybe that's what they're for. They're for contemplation. Pray always. Luke twenty one thirty six. Seek and you shall find Matthew seven seven. Hmm. Seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Matthew six thirty three. Take therefore no thought for the for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Matthew six thirty four. Oh, these these pay, they're kind of peaceful and so serene. What the hell? Oh, what's that? The Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things. Hmm. Oh, I thought he was raising his hand in anger. Maybe he's raising his hand in prayer. John fourteen twenty six. Mm. 
Thou shalt love the Lord your God, the Lord your God, with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. Mark twelve thirty. Mm. That looks nice. Unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of God. Mark four eleven. Oh, wait a minute, there's two another card there. I'm pretty sure. Yes, there's another card. Okay. Watch and pray that you enter not into temptation. Matthew twenty six forty one. Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Matthew twenty five twenty one. Temptation one. Um, um, what things soever you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you shall and you shall have them. Mark eleven twenty four. Mm -hmm. Nice paintings. Whatsoever you shall ask the Father in my name, he will give it to you. John sixteen twenty three. Uh, come on. Whosoever shall do the will of my Father which is in heaven, the same is my the same is my brother and sister and mother. Matthew twelve fifty. Okay, okay, yes, yes. I will bring it in. Yeah. Must let me bring the table in here. Well, it's in a box. With God, all things are possible. Matthew nineteen twenty six. We actually got confused because my brother ordered a TV and he was waiting. I think the TV is going to be delivered today. So my mom thought that was the TV. But when, but when I looked at the label, no, it's my table. Which is why really weird because he ordered a 55 inch TV and the box wasn't really that big. So it's like, eh? You are the light of the world. Five. Fourteen. Your faith hath saved you. Go in peace. Luke seven fifty. This seems to be the last card. Your heavenly Father knoweth that you have need of all these things. Matthew six thirty two. I think I might have like skipped a card here. Let me see if I found one. Uh, uh, oh, I think this is the one. Come on. I know there is another card in here. Oh yes, this is a card I missed. Be not afraid. Only believe. Be not afraid. Only believe. Mark 5.36 My mom said the TV is coming. <laughs> Move the table. Gotta make way for my brother's TV. <laughs> so that's some of the cards. I think these are good for contemplation. Oh, the angle, uh, the angle. So, um, yeah, so these are different contemplation. Yeah, I think my brother's TV just came. I'm wondering if I should make my, uh, I mean, if I should 
because it, I have to actually build the table. It's in it's in these pots. Um, so yeah, yeah, contemplation, and I think that you know some of these drawings are nice. So when I feel sad or depressed, I can just look at it and. They do have they do have a soothing kind of influence, so that might be good. Soothing. And uh yeah, so it's seventeen minutes and counting. Uh. Okay, so this is what my brother's TV. <laughs> this is this is what this is it's called it's I ordered it from this place called Mocha. And the name of the table is Dakota Trestle Trestle. Yeah, Dakota Trestle. So, yeah, I got the other, the, 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 the um, book of the, um, which, which book, yeah. So this is my, uh, open it. I think this is the table. Like, um, you know, it's nice wood. It's, it's a small table. It's not as uh, I might prefer the one with a bit more width. Width. That's okay, you know. I'll just keep it just uh, on the side, just to do writing or makeup. <laughs> it's about three thirty now. I'm in my brother's room. We've got a lot of space. So these are some of the things I got out. Those two things. Uh, it's got these two trays which are like at the bottom, like to store things. And these are the assembly instructions. Gee, it's supposed to look like that. So it's got an Allen key. No, so I don't need any screwdriver or something. Okay. <laughs> okay, so me and my mom helped to make the table. <laughs> what the hell? This is a Mectopoker. No. You don't mm. get the fuck This is like this. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, that's that's fine. It's, it's supposed to be like that. You see this? So just you know, just one screw here and one screw there. And the same on the other side. So this should be like that. So right now, go on. All right. So we put uh, this thing over here. Connected those two. We got two screws each, and you know, all three. I'm gonna put the that thing on top. So mom's finishing up. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> okay. I think that's it. That's, that's all we have to do. Oh, so it's 4 10 pm. That's what it looks like. That's the table. Uh, there's this one screw underneath here, which is sort of like. It's not going in, but it's it's not it's a kind of you know, it's not exactly the most <laughs> sturdy quality, but for eighty nine dollars, that this whole this table was eighty nine dollars, and shipping was fifteen. It was shipped from Queensland, for so that kind of price, you know, uh, given that you know I just want something to write on. They do have so something like a, a wall attachment type thing. But I didn't attach it to the wall, you know. Maybe that's that'll help it stop it from shaking like this. But you know, I mean, this is for just doing some, you know, writing or makeup or any other things where you know I, don't, I have a free kind of space, like a workspace kind of thing, or you know, maybe arts and crafts or anything, you know, or maybe some uh, I don't know, put some candles and <laughs> things, whatever, um, you know. So th that's what I want to do. I mean, you know, I might get a better table later and you know, I have a job and have more money. But, you know, for, it's just a temporary type of thing or, you know, just for now. 
it's got those things, uh, but you can put some stuff in the basket, and you know, it's my paper shredder. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that was alright. So it wasn't that hard to fix, but uh, oh yes, here's the uh, book I got. Um, yeah, it's called La Santa Morte. Thomas Thomas Pro. Unearthing the magic and mysticism of death. Uh, a share of star guides was talking about this. So, oh, the tools of death. Oh, so this might be interesting to read. I've got lots of things I want to read. It's like uh, to make myself read things anyway. Oh, so it's, I wanted to take a break today, but today I ended up doing <laughs> quite a few things. I ended up making my video about the Jesus cards. I was procrastinating on that, and I made my table. So I did, I did more than I thought I would do. So, huh, so that was good. So it was kind of productive, even though I was sort of I was lying and resting. And, you know, so tomorrow, I, you know, I can uh, do my voice practice because I didn't do that. I didn't do my voice practice. So. I want to do it in the morning anyway. Anyway. So it's t <clears throat> 2 or 5 p.m. Saturday night, September 2017. So I'm going to go to the vote for the uh, local council election. And voting is compulsory here. So you have to vote, otherwise you get a fine, I think. So I took a shower, I did my voice practice, and um, just, um, oh, I'm just gonna get ready. I'm gonna get ready to go out. Go out, go out, go out. I'm a bit tired. Uh, I've added something to my night routine. I wash my face now. I like scrub my face with the Dr. Brana's soap. I should get some scrubbing thing. So I think that should help my skin care. I did prepare my veggie stew. But I cooked my veggie stew at five. So I'm a bit exhausted. When I do voice practice, I get exhausted. Usually I would have already uploaded the weekly vlog, but I wanted to include this clip, hence the late upload. I might not even see the video today, I might have to see it tomorrow morning because uh, I don't feel like I have time to because I want to see the whole video through I don't want to register multiple views on my video one view all the way through yes Um, yes, in 10 minutes. I need someone to drop me to the thing because I don't want to walk all the way to the... Uh, oh, I don't feel like walking all the way to the school thing. I actually wanted to take my shower at one, but then my brother took the shower and I wait for the thing to 
heat up. Let me get one of those heating heaters. I think I'll wait. Like one in the previous house, we had the, it'll automatically, you don't have to wait. And I, it doesn't like fill a tank. Mm, I'm gonna go ahead and meet the people. It's stressful thing. I just find it so stressful. I just find it so stressful. Shoulders. Oh, so I'm a bit uh, lacking energy at the moment. But I did get some stuff done today. I want to do some job search and a little bit of cleaning. But I'm tired. But I'm tired. I'm exhausted. Well, I want to put bio oil every night before I go to sleep. Put bio oil around this area. It will help with the discoloration. Like the, uh, what is the scarring or something. I'm gonna get a desk lamp for the uh, a table. And so this nice green painted desk lamp, which is kind of nice. I get that. I just washed the hair. It's not a good idea to comb your hair when it's wet because the hair can break. Um, because it's brittle. Or something. I've heard. So, yeah, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna go to the thing and. I'll work for the greens. I'll work for the greens and. Well, a guy for who's uh, running for the Greens is like a he's a Sri Lankan Tamil. He's a, he's from Sri Lanka and he's a Tamil, like my ethnicity, ancestral, and ancestral. So, so, so I will work for him. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, I would work for the Greens anyway. So, I will. Uh, well, it's interesting. The guy who's running is a 
It's really good to handle. Um, yeah. Alright. So I'm walking to the uh, school where the voting for my hair. The mom has dropped me in. Hopefully she'd be there after I vote because she has to go to a Anyway, she's got to go to the um, she's going to movies with her friends, so she has to leave at three. So, anyway, walking to the pole booth. So, I voted for the greens, and now I'm going home. So anyway, that was pretty quick. So this is the guy I voted for. <laughs> this is a green, this one, and he put later to anything. Yeah. So, um, actually, actually, like a couple of weeks ago when I was going to the station, I saw him at the train station giving out these leaflets. And that's when I found out, oh, you're, you're, you're for the greens and your, uh, what do they call it? Uh, what do they call it when politicians, they try to, uh, oh my god, this thing's now closed. Hey, what do they call it when politicians try to get the support of voters? I don't know what you call it. He was doing that. Uh, Alright, so anyway, I'm going home.